All right, again, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, sis, for you too, it's Pastor Donald. I am trying to, I just got finished watching a video or two, and um, it, it, it's hard for me to wrap my mind around the way that this world thinks. I mean, including, especially the legal system. Um, I just can't accept it. I guess that's the reason why that I choose to live out here in the woods a quiet and peaceful life. What, what I'm appalled at is this. Now, let me, I think I need to put this in a question format. How is a camera and a cell phone or a phone in general, how does that protect you from any evil or injustices perpetuated against you by some chaotically insane person who wants to literally abuse you. How, how does it? I mean, you have to understand, I, I actually contend and I believe that my thinking is not only rational, but it's logical. I believe I'm a reasonable man and I believe that I use self-autonomy to its zenith. At least I try to. I know it's always room for improvement, but I just cannot see how that a camera and a cell phone can protect you from somebody who wants to do you harm. I just don't understand. Now, I know what the system says. Um, it's evidence, the cameras, against the people who did the evil. But that does not stop the person. That does not stop the evil that is happening at that present time. You have, you've got to learn how to take the proper measures to know how to neutralize and, and or eliminate someone who is doing you harm. Do you understand? And dialing 911 is not going to stop the evil. Dialing 911 is not going to stop someone infringing upon your right and your liberty and your freedom to exist in peace and in happiness. If somebody wants to do you evil, they're going to do it. You need to be prepared at all times. You do. Because dial 911, dialing 911 and, and having a video camera, um, to take down evidence or to record evidence of what somebody has done is simply just not going to stop the evil. It's going to be carried through. And then what are you going to do? Depend on the justice system. <laughs> just that in itself is a joke. Whose justice is it? And by what law? What, the law of the land? Because a bunch of people got together and they said something? No, no, no. Let me give you some advice. The way you stop evil is you have either the same level of force or even greater against that evil. You learn how to protect and defend yourself from all enemies, foreign and domestic. I don't care who you are. I know what I mean. You Christians done fell off the apple cart because you have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Since you believe turned of the cheek. Hmm? Let me give you turned of the cheek. Somebody smites you on one cheek. This is the way you interpret. You think that the Bible means you turn this cheek and let them hit that too. I'll tell you what. This is my interpretation. You hit me on one cheek. I'm going to do my damnedest to dislocate and break your jaw and sever it from your skull. I'm going to turn the other cheek with this or this <laughs> or an iron pipe or anything I get my hands on to neutralize that threat, especially if I'm not suffering for Christ's sake, just because you just want to do me evil. And, and most of you people, that's the reason why you need to know what the Torah says, because they have jacked you up with their pinsmanship of the renewed covenant. But anyway, you dial 911, you're going to die. That's all you're going to get. All they're going to do is uh, the, the police officers, all they're going to do is come out and take a report. They're going to show up after the evil has already been done. 
So how did you tell me? How does that help you in any way? How does that help your family? How does that neutralize the threat in any way, shape, or fashion? No, no, no. You have to meet force with force, and you need to be prepared at all times. I don't care whether you're on your home front or you're outside in the public sector. You need to be prepared to neutralize any threat whatsoever at all from anyone who wants to do you harm. And do it by any means necessary. Now, that is sound advice. That's logical advice. That is sense, common sense. I know it seems to be uncommon today. So we have, we're going to have to find a new word to try to define what we call common sense. Because it's so uncommon today. It's just ridiculous. Um, but look at our justice system. Let's say someone kills your daughter. All right. The first thing they do is they take the one who done the evil and they protect the evil from you. You know something? Now, let me see. I got to make sure I'm making sure making sense in this right. They, they protect the one who has perpetuated, who has done the evil, who has done the murder. They protect them from you who would bring justice. Hmm? That's what they do. That is exactly what they do. When real true justice is, is if they killed your daughter, hand them over to you and let you be the judge what happens to them. That's real true justice. Now, but what they want to do is they want to take this person and give them what they call a fair trial under who laws. They give them three squares and a cot that is paid for by the taxpayers. They put them up for 15, 20 years, give them the death penalty. Then they decide to let them go out easy to where they feel no pain or discomfort whatsoever at all. You know, death by lethal injection. It's, it's, it's the most um, uh, morally uh, sane way to put someone to death. So let me get this right. Somebody does evil against you if they get caught. They, they, they go to jail. They are protected by the system for the evil that they've done. Um, yeah, they're confined from so-called freedom, but think about it. They get three squares. They get a cot. Uh, chances are they get to watch the Super Bowl. They get cable TV. Uh, they get to play games. They get to lift weights. Uh, they do a few hours of work each day. Um, man. And if, hey, we're in a time of economic uncertainty today, right? So guess what? A lot of people, why not just go out and do something bad and even get you thrown in jail? At least that will protect you from this cold that we're experiencing here in the South from what they tried to sell us a long, long time ago that the whole earth is just gone chaotically insane because of global warming. Hey, these people are becoming entrepreneurs. They're becoming thinkers. They can go to a place that they don't even have to pay rent. They don't have to pay rent whatsoever at all. Hey, free, Scott free, three squares in a cot, man. Air conditioned in the springtime, heat in the summertime, central air and heat. Ain't a bad deal. <laughs> That's how people are thinking today. Especially if you're homeless. Oh, boy. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. It just does not make sense to me at all. I think the reason why it does not make sense to me at all is because this country champions itself as being a biblical, so-called laws are established on biblical um, principles. I don't read it. I don't read biblical principles based on these chaotic, psychotic laws that they have in this land. I read the quite opposite because I read the Bible. I'm a student of it. I study it all the time. And I can tell you one thing. If we had the Hebrew judgment coming from the Hebrew Yahweh, who had taught his people in this land, I guarantee we could put away a lot of evil, a whole lot of evil in a matter of a month. We could clean up this land. We could clean it up. We could clean it up and and put so much fear on someone else who, who you know, <laughs> one of my pet peeves in life is, is a man uh, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it a it hitting on a woman. Now, don't get me wrong. Woman, sound advice is do not put yourself in a position, do not hit, physically hit 
a man. Because a man is going to retaliate. He's not going to sit there and take a butt whooping from you. Now, that's sound advice. But, but for you sissies and cowards out there that physically abuse women, verbally abuse women, that's probably because you're mentally challenged or you're challenged somewhere in your statue or quality, whatever. Anyway, it goes, you have some type of uh, inconsistencies in your own heart and life and, and, um, and, uh, and you're just not settled with yourself. That's the only reason why you do it. You, I mean, after all, the world whooping your rear end, so I guess you have to take it out on a weaker vessel. Uh, that's how sorry men are today. But men physically abused, verbally abused, men who desert their families, um, men men who, um, uh, they ain't even men. Do you call them men? you call them males? What do you call them? What do you call them except a pack of sissies? Hmm. All these infidels running around can't even provide for their own house. Um, it's a sad situation we got in this country. We're insane. And we continue to keep thinking the way these people keep trying to train us and tell us a thing. We're going to keep on perpetuating uh, the decline of this society because it just simply just not, does not make any sense to me whatsoever at all. Um, sometimes you may, people may want to tune in to www.straightwaytruth.com. Straightwaytruth.com. And then over here is where we have our live Sabbath services, onlinechurch.org every Sabbath or Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. You may want to, I'm telling you, you may want to check in on that to give you some sense because this religion junk and then this, this society mess, it just ain't making no sense to me. And that's the truth. And that's the truth straightway.